Did I just walk all the way to the airport? Another walking vlog here this morning. Kind of just started walking for a little bit, waiting for the brain to kick in. And it's like, just keeping it real right now, it's like, I'm starting to feel sad. You know, there's three weeks to go, and it's like it's already over. The feeling of uh, the trip is over. Christmas has came and gone. No one's talking about Christmas no more. No lights, no holiday stuff, no music. It's kind of back to the real world feeling. And for us, even the wife said something this morning, like the trip is almost over. It's like, it's hard to think about it that way. Some people come here for a week or two at a time and call it a vacation. We got three weeks left and it, Already feels over. My birthday! <laughs> this is uh, from Robinson yesterday. It has like six pieces about this size. But it's like 300, almost 350 pesos. to Tiffles, got my daughter some breakfast and couldn't uh, ignore the candy that they had and the cookies and the brownies so turned into a quick 750 peso stop unexpectedly but got a little girl at home needs treats every once in a while since you don't have toys and all the other stuff she would have back home so I'm doing the awful dad thing getting her candy and stuff Little shout out to Tiffles, sweet girls in there, really friendly, really nice. Hello. 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 I saw I saw waffles and I was like, I gotta go back. No, and, I don't have waffles here. Huh? Oh, the people's milk tea. That's people's. You got burger. You got burger? Yeah. Uh, I want a burger. I want one burger. And what is the other? What do you call it? Tiffles? Uh, milk tea, sir. Oh, we have coffee. Oh. We also have coffee. I don't see the horse in the street every day. Gotta film that one real quick. Actually, that's the first time I've seen it. <laughs> you know, in a few weeks, be in my shop, cutting wood up, getting plans out, designing some new structures, working on some new roofing techniques, working on courses, blueprints, plans, and trying to get some more things together. The reality for me is that I'm many years away from being at that word retirement age, which I, in my entire life, I was never taught by anyone. I never thought about how to get ready for it. But retirement age for me has never been a part of any process I've dealt with. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yes, sir. Over the last 30 years, hearing about everybody losing a 401k multiple times and the ridiculously small amount you get for how much you put into it, but you know, it's for your own good because most people can't invest on their own, right? You know, they didn't teach you any of that in school. So, you know, going home and thinking about a lot of the stuff that I want here in the Philippines will always be based on what I can produce for myself and family. A lot of times in the Philippines, a lot of these streets kind of just all looks the same. Many of the times you're not really paying attention. One street from the next, a lot of the same stores, a lot of the same kind of chicken houses. 
and Darius and but usually if you slow down and you look around enough you'll find some different things you know in about a month I'm gonna be setting out in the country in Kentucky probably setting on a lawnmower thinking about sharpening lawnmower blades changing oil should I trade the lawnmower in or sell it get a new one which is probably going to happen because I've had enough of this lawnmower. Uh, just a whole different mindset back home. Different worries, different problems to solve. And then the Philippines takes a back seat to everything. The Philippines, I think that would probably be one of my favorite bikes to consider. Honda 750. You know, the sounds will be different in a few weeks. The brain switches gears to something totally different, but the dream doesn't fade one bit. That's the part that makes it hard. Because no matter where I'm at, the Philippines never leaves my brain. Thoughts, ideas, how to make it happen part of still being alive for some you know it's just a small part you know they just want to come over and find a place to settle down and relax you know, no challenges as much as possible not trying to conquer or achieve any business goals, build a house, find a hospital, doctors, dentists, banking situations, and that's it. That's all they're looking for. Obviously, there's a few more small things in there, but they're not trying to build any businesses they're not trying to acquire property for the family and they just need a spot to call home and finish out whatever years are left some have a few some have a bit more there's a lot more people here than a lot of people realize trying to live here that's not from here This idea of expats, old retirees, a lot of grumpy people, a lot of guys over here trying to find young wives. Man, that is such a small demographic, although it appears to be a large one on YouTube. It's a small demographic. A lot of people trying to figure out how to live here well before retirement. The world is changing. A lot more options are always arising of how people can afford to live somewhere, have more than one home. When you punch up areas that you might be interested in, Dumaguete might come off as a town that, nah, it's just a bunch of old retiree expats, South Beach. South Beach, Florida, just a bunch of old people sitting around. That's not what I'm seeing. I've stayed out of the coffee shops. I haven't been to but one coffee shop. Uh, not interested in hanging around right now. Talking about our YouTube channels with other expats. A couple people have organically met and those are fine but it's not the right time to just sit around and do all those things there's other people here looking for the same things I'm looking for how to live here long before that retirement age number
I could live here now half the year, make a living back at home in six months, enjoy a lot of it over here without going broke. I don't think that's the right answer for right now. I can't say what the right answer is. That don't feel right. If I'm gonna be here, we've gotta be doing something while we're here. And there are definitely options for that. Don't matter what other people's opinions are. I've seen what can work. I've seen what is possible. City Mall over there to the left. The more I walk, it just keeps getting smaller and smaller around here. That, if nothing else, I mean, it helps me, you know, when you're back home, what you really think of a city that you can't possibly really know until you're here. One of the easiest ones to check off my list is how do you feel about being in a city the size of Dumaguete? I mean, honestly, on the map, all the little streets and all this that you see on a map, it really did look bigger at the beginning. But uh, every day I'm here, the city gets to be just a little bit smaller in a good way. Smaller in a good way. The little bikes don't mean a whole lot to me anymore hearing all that sounds and stuff. It's just a little, little engine running by with a loud muffler. You know, all that stuff, the anxiety used to be a lot higher. It's not high anymore. Another scooter shop. Yeah, when you can live in a city, walk around with a camera in your hand sticking out four or five feet in front of you, Nobody's dropping the bird in the background. Although I think actually it did happen once, but it was a young kid being silly. But 99% uh, of the other time, it's always been waves, smiles, or not interested, but nothing negative. Nothing I had to be like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> what happened? You can't do this in many places back home. Because I'm gonna show you here soon what it's like to vlog back home. I might as well be walking inside a store with a type of outfit that draws a lot of attention because putting a camera out in front of you back in Kentucky you can already imagine a bunch of the demographic I'm around just looking and they ain't looking and smiling they looking in with bewilderment just in total confusion but we're gonna do it that's one uh, another thing to happen here with uh, <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I had to turn it around real quick. Somebody wants to be on the camera. Again, it's just never ending. And trying to hit another street here I haven't seen yet. Maybe I haven't, I don't remember it, but we're gonna go a different direction. I know if I go right all the way, that'll run me all the way down to the beach. So I'm not real sure I wanna go right just yet. I might go further down. Just keep this walk going. If nothing else, you just keep seeing what's around. How comfortable it can get here for you. The thing with having a car here, which I was like, I ain't having a car here. You get dinged and dented and wrecked every day. No, the car is definitely the way to go in the future. Just get one you don't care about the dings or dents because the cars just pull out in front. You want to hit them on your scooter, hit them. You know, the car's not worried about it. When the car is ready to go, the car just pulls out. Ugh. And that's probably the easiest way to deal with traffic. This truck right here, he's just going to pull out. Y'all want to run into each other? I guess y'all can exchange phone numbers <laughs> or cash but you're in the vehicle you know it's just one of those things you just pull out everyone will stop st paul university i know i've seen it on the map that's my first time seeing this one Don't know a lot about this one yet. Just heard it, its names a few times. Starting to get a little warm. Starting to get that shine going, almost sweat. You know, part of being here in Dubaghetti again, are you comfortable here? Do I have fear? I know, I know, I know. Everyone's like, Jay, you're younger. You're not a senior citizen. I know, I know. I can't cover every base for everybody every single time I make a comment, but when I say something like that, I'm also taking into account if you were a 65 year old man walking, you know, 75, 80, I don't know, I wouldn't even let my mom walk on these streets. She's 70. I wouldn't risk it. But if you still got your faculties and your awareness and your you got some strength still, then you'll be all right. But uh, yes, total comfort walking around here. No fear. I don't notice any groups of people that I'd be, oh shit, I need to turn around. Even if I was 18 years old, kid, skinny back in the 80s, I don't ever see that. And I'm looking for it. Do I want to bring my daughter here? You know, who knows what the future holds. Maybe it gets worse, maybe it gets better. But right now, I don't see anything that brings fear or anxiety to me with my daughter here yet. And I've been here quite a bit now. And I'm out more than most people are here yearly. A lot of people, I can tell you right now, they're already in that little hamster wheel over here. They do their little coffee shop, and hang out with their buddies every day, and that is it. And they got a ton of comments about the city. It's like, no, they don't know hardly anything. Careful who you take your advice from. Does that person look like somebody who's gotten out and learned anything? I'm walking up and down major streets here. Everybody's either smiling or waving or, you know, minding their own business. I've not had one single kid in my presence. I mean, even when I've been out watching other people. I've never seen any dis disrespectful teenagers. I've never seen any 
kind of teenager that you might think might be recently released from prison. I haven't seen any teenagers, younger adults that I'm like, oh, he's definitely trouble coming. I'm not seen any of that. In six, seven weeks now, I haven't seen, oh, it's longer than that now. No, it's about six weeks. Uh, you know, I'm not saying they ain't out there, but as much as I'm out, which is every day, nighttime, daytime, morning, I've not seen anybody that I'm like, yeah, he's just looking for trouble in the city. So, I mean, I'm not in the country, I'm in the city. So, as of this moment, yes, I'm totally comfortable bringing my daughter here. I want her to learn this stuff so she'll appreciate what she has back home in Kentucky. Kentucky could be another 20, 30 years there. You know, it's possible. Depends on the family situation back home. But my wife's got a family situation too over here. I don't think I'll ever take that from her. Not on purpose anyway, but grandparents have hearts and brothers and sisters, they care. I don't want them to not be bonded to their little niece because we never come and you know, relationships that could have been there that never developed because the husband doesn't ever come back over. So, can't let that happen. So realistically, I don't have a choice with a lot of these things. It's like going back and forth to America. Why, aren't, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? It's because some of the few small goals that I got with my daughter. I don't want my daughter to miss out on a family. So the only way to make that happen, I can't work for someone else. I can't make average middle class pay. So these were all problems I had to figure out five years ago when Adeline told me she was pregnant almost six years ago. It took me a while to wrap my head around it, but that's when I knew I was done being a nurse. I knew I had to get back to being what I was really meant for, business, entrepreneurship. So, you know, just staying home in Kentucky would be 10 times more advantageous to my financial situation. <laughs> work is consistent. You're willing to work hard, sweat. You always got somebody out there who can't find somebody to do stuff for them. My current business, my son gets involved, I'll probably stick with it for another decade or so until he's ready to take it from me. And that'll take him telling me I'm ready to take it from you. <laughs> so I'll be involved with that until that happens or I get an offer to buy it when I've built it up to the level I want to build it to. And then maybe we come back and forth six months on, six months off, something like that don't know that's the whole point of anything is the figuring it out if i had answers to it it wouldn't be a very interesting channel if i had answers to it why even watch it's just like you know this is what we're going to do it's kind of like watching a lot of the other vloggers you know they built their house you know you've seen the electric videos how much does electric cost groceries you know, I could say some of the other videos that came to mind just now, but I don't going to be like, Jay, stop saying that. <laughs> but, you know, we've all kind of seen the, you know, the circle of videos that are out. Even when I get an electric bill one day, I'm going to tell you how much it costs and that's it. I'm not breaking it down to how many air conditioners I got in the house. I'm not breaking it down to how much we turn them on and off. That's not my channel. Not that mine's better, but that's just not something I'm ever going to be interested in doing. Try to keep the focus on the number one reason why we're here. How do I get my daughter to have two families that she has? She has a family here. 
a big family here. She has a growing, potentially large family back home. So, the way my brain works, I don't have a choice to do what we're doing right now. It's like, I don't want my daughter to be sad one day. She doesn't have close uncles and aunts that she knew. Loved her when she was little, but they didn't spend any time together growing up. And unfortunately, life moves on. You know, you'll get a hug or a like on your birthday on Facebook, which is about as meaningless as nothing. There's relationships here to be had. You got to fight for them. Shit ain't easy. Did I just walk all the way to the airport? Did not mean to do that. Okay, I just did. I guess that's gonna be enough going in this direction. Rusko. I don't know what that is. More friendly faces in the Philippines. Man, when I'm rambling, I ramble. I guess I gotta go back the other direction. So the walk is over. We are back. I got my little bag. I got the daughter a potential breakfast that she'll probably say she doesn't want. Uh, we will see. But we probably got a good 10 more videos we're going to get out this month. I got a feeling they're going to be a little bit better, more interesting, uh, more detailed. These little walking rants, those are easy. I guess some people can do interviews in coffee shops. I can do walking rants. There's uh, some useful information in there. Uh, we're not going to edit it for 20 hours just to get to all the finer points. It's, you know, it's YouTube. People got questions, just ask. I'll answer it. I'll point it out in a video or just respond to you. Still trying to respond to everybody right now. Uh, so now that we are back, have a good one, guys. Talk to you all soon. All right, I'm cheap. I was on my way home, but that little stop getting breakfast and, and temples. I couldn't pass up the petty cab and pass me right by right after I walked out. I didn't want to carry these bags and a camcorder, or not a camcorder, a little DJI all the way back. So, we're cheap.